Hey what's up guys, in this video we're going to look at how you can get PCIe Express 4.0 to work on your PC even if you don't have an X570 motherboard. For this to work guys you're gonna need a Ryzen 3000 processor, for example the 3600, the 3700, the 3800, the 3900 or the 3950X. So for example I got to give you guys a bit more clarity, I got the 3900X and a X370 motherboard board from ASUS and this is what it looks like for me when I pull up HW monitor. Now if your system is currently stable and it runs fine, I highly recommend not to upgrade your motherboard BIOS guys. This is because AMD is right now at this moment rolling out an update that is locking down PCIe Express 4.0 exclusively to uh, X570 motherboard. So recent news is unveiling that AMD is on their way to remove Gen 4 support for any AM4 motherboard prior to the X570 boards, AMD told us around Computex in May that they intended to disable PCIe Gen 4 for pre-X570 motherboards. But here's the thing guys, many motherboard vendors are still providing BIOS update containing a microcode that is allowing Gen 4 support for many different AM4 motherboards. And so what this means is that even on much older motherboards, for example I'm sitting on a X370, I just realized that I got a PCIe Express 4.0 without even knowing about it and the thing is you might be able to activate Gen 4 on your motherboard also. How do you really update the motherboard BIOS? Well that is a very good question I'm soon about to answer. I use this, it's a USB stick, in fact it's a very old USB stick, I probably would have tossed it away ages ago if it wasn't for the fact that I'm actually using this for a good purpose. Now I'm going to show you guys how I'm using this. Alright, so we're in Windows 10. I'm gonna show you guys how you do this the easiest way that I know about. So first things first, you wanna search for, you wanna press start and you wanna search for system information that will pop up this screen. Now inside the screen, you wanna locate the baseboard product. Here you can find, uh, you know, the exact name of your motherboard. This is important because when you search up the BIOS, you need to make sure that you are getting the exact BIOS for the exact motherboard otherwise you might end up breaking the motherboard and you don't want to do that okay so once you've located the name of your motherboard just jump over to your motherboard vendor site you click on driver this is ASUS site but these sites usually look pretty similar so from here on we can see that the latest BIOS here is the 7201 and all I do is simply downloading it now that will create usually a zip file you wanna open that also. God damn it, where is my USB stick when I need it? Alright, so we got USB stick. So this particular stick I'm also using for Windows 10 apparently. Uh, what I like to do is just create a new folder. Just name it BIOS. And then we just drop the file. We just take the file. We just drop it inside the BIOS folder. Now you can rename the file also if you want to. You, you do not need to do that, but you can do it if you want to but we're not gonna do that i'm just gonna quit this now we're gonna reboot the computer and i'm gonna be back in two seconds guys now what you want to do now is you want to locate something similar to tools or whatever uh, you want to find the utilities here and see that there is a flash tool here you simply just locate here we have the folder simply click on it you update it and that's it now normally new interfaces like PCIe Express usually requires a new motherboard but because the way that Ryzen works all the PCIe Express technology is built into the processor which technically makes any older AM4 motherboard once you insert the Ryzen 3000 processor PCIe Gen 4 compatible. Here's the funny part guys I read about this news that Gen 4 would be limited to X570 right about in May around Computex and I was a bit disappointed but yeah I moved on and I didn't really think about it. Now yesterday I went into BIOS to check a few things and I found this so for some some reason my Asus X370 ROG Hero 6 Crosshair was all of a sudden 
Kizia Yen for compatible. And then after that, I also found this news article from Tech Power Up. And so it seems like early BIOS updates that was released prior to Zen 2 didn't seem to include a line of text that would strip away Gen 4 support. And so it kind of seems like AMD made a mistake here. But nevertheless, I'm super happy about it. And this is something that we can now take advantage of. And what this means is that if your system runs and is working fine and everything boots up normally, you do not want to upgrade your BIOS because if you do that, there is a risk that you lose PCIe Express compatibility if you already have it right now. So let's go a bit deeper than that. It's the latest microcode and I believe it's called 1.0.0.3 ABB. This is the one that is stripping Gen 4 compatibility. Now, I know it sounds confusing guys with these numbers and all of that, but in case you have to upgrade your BIOS, all you gotta do is read the release notes for the BIOS version. The kind of bad news here, this update also carries an update fix in Destiny 2 with Ryzen 3000 series and so if you're one of those that play Destiny 2 and you're looking for a fix, you might have to choose between PCIe 4.0 or the game itself. I know it sounds harsh, but that seems to be the reality here. But what about the benefits with Generation 4 PCIe? Do you really need it? Well, first off, there is really no drawback with having PCIe 4.0, as every PCIe standard is backward compatible. With Generation 4 PCIe Express, you get double the bandwidth to the older 3.0, and this is going to be very important for upcoming graphics cards, as well as upcoming solid state drives, and according to AMD, you should expect to gain about 42% faster SSD storage performance and up to 69 faster graphics in just one generation. Just to be clear guys, these are numbers that are taken from AMD's presentation and this is not something that I've been able to test. But what we can say is that it certainly seems promising and definitely something that you want means that you most likely won't be needing to upgrade your system for a very long time to come. And so what I recommend guys, download HW Monitor and see if you have PCIe Express 4.0 or not. Now, in case you're on the very same motherboard, the X370 that I'm sitting on, I left a link to the BIOS that I'm currently using. Now, there is a great deal of information in the links that I provided for you guys. Anyway, again, you want to look for AGESA 1.0.0.3, and that seems to be the last microcode that still have Gen 4 activated, and so you want to avoid every update after that. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested, at how the 3900X runs on the X370. You can find that video down below. I also tried the Ryzen 3600 on the B350. You can find that video down below also. If you have any questions or you want to hang out, yeah, you want to join the Discord server. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys.